Gareth Gates here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I always start these vlogs about my stammer with my name. The reason being the hardest thing for a stammerer to say is their name. I think the reason why is when you're first meeting people, it's the first thing they ask and there's kind of no other answer than your name. You can't really lie about it but actually saying that as a as a stammerer when I was young I'd be asked my name and I'd make up a name my middle name's Paul so I'd maybe say my name's Paul or Michael or any name that came to my mind I'd say or any name I could say on the spot I'd say and, and I'm sure there were loads of people when I did pop idol or became well known in the music industry I'm sure there'd be lots and lots of people watching TV going wait a minute his name's not Gareth, he told me his name was Paul or Michael. <laughs> um, so let's just put that to bed right now. Gareth Gates is my real name. Uh, it's, it's not a stage name. <laughs> and for all those people that I lied to in the past, I'm very sorry. Uh, pure avoidance, just saying words that I was able to say. And that's the topic of this vlog, avoidance. As a stammerer, we often avoid at all costs words that we know we can't say. We'll have 10 other words lined up in our minds uh, to use in place of a word that we can't say. Um, and, you know, that's how we get through. We're always trying to be fluent. We're always trying to fit in um, and not make an issue or stand out in the crowd and maybe we go wait a minute they're different they can't speak and so avoidance and avoiding words is a big big part of having a, a stammer but you also make yourself look really really foolish and, and stupid at times you like for instance if you know the answer to a question that you asked and this happened lots at school but you aren't able to say that word or the actual answer you'd say something else just to get a word out knowing full well that the answer is wrong i mean how soul destroying is that <laughs> you know knowing that you are smart and yeah smart and you are bright and you do know the answer but you kind of play dumb and make yourself look stupid purely just to not stammer and i think one thing that's helped me in my and a speech journey has been to not avoid anymore and just to throw myself into situations. And if I can't get the word out, then my listener will have to wait. And that's not an arrogance thing. That's me taking control and going, right, I know the answer to this. I know the word that I'm going to say and I'm choosing to say and I'm going to say it. Whether I struggle, whether I look silly. At least I'll walk away from this situation with kind of pride and my head held high, knowing that I didn't avoid. And, you know, there's a lesson in there for certainly stammerers who avoid words left, right and centre. I still do it, of course. Probably have done it in this vlog a few times, <laughs> um, if I'm being completely honest. But, you know, the more that we don't avoid and just commit to something then the better because we're taking ownership of this now and I think that helps um, anyway yes that was a topic of this vlog in my series of addressing my stammer and that's avoidance um, I'm going to be addressing lots more things that are to do with stammering but not just stammering any kind of disability, any thing that we have in our lives, and we all have something that holds us back to try and get past that and uh, try to not let it hold us back anymore and for us to achieve what we've always wanted to achieve, be the person that we want to be. I'll be addressing all these points in future vlogs.